All right, can you replace your keyboard with the tour box? That's the question I'm going to answer in this video. A few months ago, I received this new tool called a tour box. The company reached out to me to ask me if I would try it, use it, and basically give a review about it. And I said yes. I was curious to see if I was able to actually replace my keyboard and all my shortcut with this bad boy. And now that it's been a few months, I'm actually using this in my painting workflow. I'm finally able to give you a full review, or at the very least, my first impression on this tool. First of all, this is not a sponsored video. It did give me the device for free, but that's no payment. What you'll get in this video is really what I think of this device. And hopefully this will help you to see if you want to purchase one for yourself or at the very least know what you can do with it. Also, if you're looking for a video about the specs and all the technology that's in this device, I, I won't put it in this video. So if you want to have more info about the nitty gritty tech that come with this device, I'll put a link in the description of this video. You can go check it out. In this video, I'll just tell you how I've been incorporating this new device in my workflow, how I've been trying to replace my keyboard with it. I'll give you a few of my pros and cons and hopefully enough information for you to see if you want to buy one of these for yourself. First thing first, a little background about my personal workflow. I'm the kind of person that use shortcuts for everything and I know my shortcuts by heart. I'm very fast to create new layers, merge layers, open adjustment layers, changing brushes to eraser, brush tool, flipping the canvas, and so on. There's a ton of shortcuts and I really love them all. Therefore, my first hurdle when I started to actually use the tour box was actually to learn something completely new from scratch, which was kind of overwhelming at first, but at the end was pretty much worth it. To my own surprise, I was actually able to replace my shortcuts with this within a day. And after about a week, it felt really natural to use this device instead of using the shortcut, which is great because now that I have a new tablet, I just got myself a new Huion. Uh, it takes a lot of space on my desk and having just this device by my side really helped me to actually maximize my workflow. So what do I use the most in terms of shortcuts? Well, going to the brush tool, to the eraser, to the undo and the redo. Those are the four ones that I use the most. I place those on the cross on the tour box. I can change them easily when I paint with a click with my thumb. I go from the brush to the eraser, to the undo, to the redo. Then at the right of the cross, there is a big button. I change this one with a space bar. Uh, this helps me to be able to pan the image with ease. You have the zoom that it's placed on the top left wheel. The brush size is a nub at the middle of the device and I use the wheel to select the rotation tool. Now the wheel itself won't rotate the canvas, but when I do this, it brings the rotation tool and then I'm able to rotate on the canvas, which is basically all I need, the logic is there. Now the shortcut I just talked about and showed you are not all the shortcuts I'm using. I'm actually using a ton more, but at this point, I know that if I were to replace my keyboard with this device, I would be able to put all the shortcuts that I need on it. Yay! All you have to do when you want to add a shortcut to this device is to go to Toolbox console and basically program it and that's it. You can really add a ton of shortcuts. Every button can be one, but then you have the combination of the buttons and the knobs. There's a lot of things that can be done here. And even though the learning curve can be steep here and it will probably take you time to actually replace your workflow with this, I know that if I were to use this on an everyday basis, I would get as fast, if not faster with this device. The reason why I think I could get actually faster with this is that there's a certain shortcut on the keyboard that actually takes two hands that I can make them with only one hand with this device. So that's pretty cool. Honestly, it's really a great tool and I haven't scratched the surface to it yet. There's so many other things that can be done with it. It can be used on all the software on your computer. You can potentially replace your keyboard for all the shortcuts that you want for all the software and all the different workflows flows from editing to doing design to doing illustration all on this device, which is kind of insane when you think about it. But if I had to be critical about it, I would say that the price is a little steep. Uh, this is definitely a premium tool made for professional artists. Uh, this one is the Elite uh, Tour Box, which comes Bluetooth. It's an investment. But if you are a professional that really want to upgrade your workflow, then it's a great tool for you. And as a professional artist slash video editor slash graphic designer slash entrepreneur, I would consider buying this 
in a heartbeat. Really, I know I'll be able to use it for all these different tasks that I'm doing on my computer at all time. Plus, I'm not going to lie to you, I think it looks absolutely dope on my desk. I think it's really a beautiful device. Uh, so for all these reasons, really, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. So thank you, Torbox, for this device. Anyhow, I'm hoping that this video about the Torbox and my personal experience and review about it was useful to you. Now, if you want to learn my thoughts about my tablet switch between the Wacom Enturos and this Huion canvas, then you can click the next video and I'll see you in there. And for the rest, happy painting, guys.